Hello and welcome to this edition of uh, Biology Bites. And today I'm going to be talking about the fact that bass don't like to go down to feed. They would much prefer to go up to feed. And I know probably the first thing in your mind is, but wait a minute, I catch a lot of them on worms and jigs. Well, a lot of times on worms and jigs, you catch them on the drop. And often you're catching them when it's coming up and over a rock. Or they're down a bank below it as it's coming down autumn. Now why I say the bass prefer to go up? Well, this is a morphology issue. If you do any studies in ichthyology or fisheries, uh, one of the ways you identify where a bass or any fish wants to feed is by looking at its mouth and the orientation of its mouth. Now, most bottom feeders will either have a mouth that's, that's straight ahead, but the lower jaw is smaller than the upper jaw, like a catfish, or a carp, same thing, or its angled kind of down. And fish that want to go up to feed their, their jaw will be angled up, uh, their lower jaw will usually be bigger than their top jaw. And what, what this is, is is that when they feed with that upper jaw being smaller, when they open their mouth, the water is actually going over it quicker than the bottom jaw. So the suction actually sort of comes from above. And so that's why they prefer to come up at an angle to a bait. So you're wondering, okay, now I know this, um, how do I apply this? Well, I learned this the hard way. Out on the lake in the middle of summer, um, my partner in the back of the boat caught some fish in the morning, not catching fish in the middle of the day. He comes up with this idea for a technique. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Five minutes later, he has a fish. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of like, mm -mm, lucky fish. I'm not, not going to change my strategy just yet. Fifteen minutes later, another fish. Okay, now I'm interested. What are you using? He's like, oh, I put on a little rebel, rebel we are. A little chrome and black, it goes down about four to six feet. This is also when I got introduced to shallow high speed cranking, by the way. So I'm like, okay. So I go into my tackle box, I dig around, and I find chrome and black, but mine's designed to go down about eight, ten foot, eight, twelve, and his is running four to six. I'm like, well, same general area, uh, same color lure, same size, it'll work. Well, end of the day, I caught one. Like I said, it's not they won't go down, but they prefer not to. I managed one. He caught seven. I got schooled by the back of the boat. And so later on, I realized that, well, those fish must have been sitting down about six, seven feet. And so he was running either right at them or right over the top of them. And so they had the angle they prefer. And he caught fish. I didn't. I was running under him a good two or three feet. So they took the choice and what they prefer, and he caught fish. I didn't. So just remember this when you're out, uh, either it's a crankbait or a jerkbait or a rattle trap or anything coming through the, the middle of the column of water. Uh, just check your heights. I mean, you could just slightly be going underneath them, and it, it is enough to affect them grabbing the bait or letting it go by. I hope this helps. Till next time.